one of the reasons why you take the kids to the museum. Not many parents just run down and grab liquid nitrogen. No, we this, typically don't have This, of course, have them. most of the air that we breathe is uh, is nitrogen. Seventy-nine percent of the air that we breathe is nitrogen. This is liquid nitrogen, so it's extremely cold, and it's turning into a gas. It wants to be a gas. So you can kind of see what it looks like here. Mm -hmm. See a little bubbling. It's not happy right now at all because here it's what about seventy-five degrees, so almost a difference of four hundred degrees. But we can do some pretty phenomenal things with okay. it. Okay. Okay, and this is the reason you go to the museum. You get to see these kinds of cool things and like in a museum. Which hand do you use the least? My left. Good, so I need to borrow that one if you don't mind. So just hold <laughs> oh, it out here, you I guess. Dare. Yeah, so don't you're going to be you just dare. fine. And we start with a rubber band, fair okay. enough. So here's the rubber band. Here's what I want to do is let's stretch out the rubber band. Now, a rubber band's pretty cool because it has this elastic quality. Get your hand out. Get your hand no. out. Yeah, yes, no, 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 hold, okay. hold it right here so I can see right there. Perfect, all right? You don't want to move your hand. I'm going to freeze the rubber band. It it's just gonna break, takes isn't that it? long. Watch this. It's frozen. Look, stay Look right there. We've now expanded oh. it. But guess what? This is such a cool polymer that watch what happens. That rubber starts to regain its shape. Is that kind of fun? And comes back to life. Is that would that happen just if you took it out, or does the warmth of your hand help? One warmth of your hand helps. Yeah. But now take it and stretch it, and notice that it doesn't break. So when we take a look at materials no. for space or whatever, we have to have something that is that resilient. Right. Look at this. This is even better. Watch. So here's a balloon that has my breath inside. So now watch what happens, Kim. Here's the test. If I put it down in here, will it uh, get bigger or will it get smaller? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's smaller. It's smaller. Thank you. Yes, it is. I'm afraid it was gonna, it's going to pop. It's I know. Just so, it's Everybody just thinks it will. Me. But I want you to watch what's happening. I'm going to hold it up so the camera can see it here in just a second. It's my breath is going to go warm. from a liquid or from a gas into a liquid. So literally going to make liquid breath. Here, watch this as we squeeze it down like this. Now, there's actual practical uses for liquid nitrogen. This is the stuff that we use to get kids excited about uh, learning about science. But here, watch this. If you look up here, let me hold it here like that. Do you see my breath? Right I see there. your breath right there. There it is. Yeah. It's actually turned into a liquid. And now we blow. And now it goes back. And the balloon goes back. What classic demonstration. Love but it. did you know that they use liquid nitrogen for your food? No. Yes, it's to be able to like uh, prepare your food so that it won't, uh, it'll last for a long time. It won't spoil. So um, look at this. Here's here's like an Oreo. Let's say you want to eat that Oreo like in 10 years from now. You got to scrape all that stuff off. So um, here, break it in half. Okay. okay. So here, let's put it in the liquid nitrogen. Break it, throw it in there? Yeah, throw it in the liquid nitrogen. Good job. So now this is flash freezing the food. We do this with ice cream later in the summer. I'll come back and we'll make ice cream. Okay. But now, watch this. You really don't want to eat the food this way when it's frozen like that because it's awfully cold. But here, let me show you kind of what happens. So here, only with a trained professional. Hold out your hand. Hold out your hand. Okay, okay hold on. Now we're going to put it in our mouth and chomp. Ready? Are right, you right serious? In our, right in our mouth. Ready? Watch. That was great for you. Mm, that's super. Mm. So there's lots of different uses for liquid okay. nitrogen, I but I think <laughs> I think so too. They actually freeze wedding cakes, which I think is a tremendous amount of fun as well. So you can get a, a frozen wedding cake.